morning everyone how's everybody doing hope you're all doing well uh, I was just listening to a brother um, on YouTube his name is Bible for truth and I highly recommend you go and listen to his videos um, it doesn't make him the truth it's the Word of God that he's showing he's strictly in the Word of God he's not adding his interpretation to it He's using the scriptures because God said, and he just reminded me of this one, that um, there will be a river, a fountain um, from, the, from Jesus from entering his rest. When he enters his rest, he said, it is finished. He completed the work that was needed to um, save us. He said, it is finished. And then he entered his rest in heaven. And so then he had a fountain for sin and uncleanness that flows from him to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, the church, the bride, the, um, the ones who have Christ in them, the hope of glory, the Lamb's wife, because Christ comes in and makes us a new creation. So that fountain is to everyone who believes the gospel of truth, not to everyone who keeps the law or does anything or adds to his great work that he already did. It is finished. And it's free. It's a free church. We are free. In, and and um, we are, and, and he called it Sarah. It represents the free woman in the heavenly Jerusalem, the inhabitants of Jerusalem. This is such great news. And then he, showed, he talked about <clears throat> this... Um, and, and I want to first tell you that I had a dream about water flowing out of this, this temple. Now, this place, it, it was creating all this beautiful, beautiful foliage and, and trees, and it was gorgeous. Well, that must be what he, God was showing me. But the temple was all broken down and everything. So we need this, this cleanness in us because what's happening, I, I, I'm kind of, Bible for Truth has really solidified it this morning to me. Because God was moving me by his spirit to show me that it's not anything that I do that saves me. It's a work of God, lest any man should boast. And what we have are people glorying in their flesh, boasting in their good works. When God says, I will do the work. In the Old Testament, he says, I'll send the Messiah. My Messiah is going to do the work. It's going to be a work of God. It's going to be something I build, the temple that I build. The problem was, I was listening to people who were leading me astray trying to get under back under the curse of the law and instead of being free and so my stone he showed me was broken i believe now that i'm resting in the work of god in jesus in christ my stone is now perfect i really believe that because the minute you believe you are sanctified justified and and um you're free when we strive to do the work that god said that no flesh will do we are entering into condemnation under the law. And that is not where he wants us. He wants us to hearken to his voice and to live by the spirit, not by the flesh. Because the flesh is dead for the cause of sin. But anyways, back to Bible for truth and what he said. He said, so Jerusalem is above mother of us all and is free. All right. She's free. Um, even David entered into God's rest. Even though he had sinned, he entered into God's rest. In other words, he didn't have to keep the law to enter God's rest. He hearkened to the voice of God and did what God said. So did Noah. He hearkened unto God. He listened to God and did what God said. That's different than trying to strive to keep the law, which we have a lot of law keepers. And they're literally falling from grace. Literally falling from the grace of God. We have law keepers even in the church buildings. Calvinists. They're all Masons, I'm finding. Even people who claim, like Jonathan Kahn, who, to follow the Messiah. They are false prophets. And this is what the Word of God says. It says in the end days that God will put to shame anyone who prophesies, anyone who claims to have prophecy, that God will put them to shame because um, they are they're speaking lies and in the name of the Lord. So they're using the name of the Lord to speak lies about what's coming and everything. And I'm going to show you some of these people here in this video. But there's many. There's teachers of all kinds from education to science to politics to um, in the church buildings, the, the Antichrist. This is the mystery Babylon in a nutshell. 
it's Je Jesuits and Masons. They they use their hand there to buy and sell. They make merchandise out of God's people to buy and to sell. And let's just look at a few of these people. Okay, there's one. These people are online, putting people under the law. There's another. They're they're serpents. Wolves in sheep's clothing. They look really good. They sound really good, but they're Masonic wolves, devils, demons speaking through them, prophesying, but they're all part of mystery Babylon. And God is bringing a fire to them. This word is a fire. Here they are. I've, I've, I've seen these people. They have the occult hand signs in their hands. All right, they've got the Masonic hand signs, and we're exposing them because they are liars and they are deceivers, for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And they want to put themselves on a stage in front of Jesus Christ. This is abominable. And they're giving their handshakes. They approve all this stuff. Abominable, abominations. They approve all sorts of abominations. All right, let's expose these people for who they are because God said the mother and the father, because remember the mother of us all is the new Jerusalem. Okay, they will put them to shame and bring a fire to them. This is that fire. This is the fire of God. Isn't my word a fire? Who's the word? Jesus. Who's Jesus? The Christ, the Christ that died for us. And who is inside of me? Jesus, the Christ of fire, and he's bringing a fire to these false prophets who are really masons, deceiving the people, making them fall back under the curse of the law, taking away their liberty that is in Christ Jesus, taking away their freedom. And they all want us to work Calvinist works or uh, separate God with two houses. They want to separate God with two separate houses. This is wickedness to God. There is no separation, you guys. There is no two houses. They want to have a Mason, they want to have a Jewish house and they want to have a church. This is separating God. This is separating who he is. This is these are Zionists who want to have rule over you and over people. God said that whoever exalts himself, God will abase. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's abasing them by his spirit. That is in me and all glory to him for what he is doing. Because these are false prophets making merchandise out of God's people. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And it is a wickedness beyond imagination. They are wicked people. They look good. Remember, we're not supposed to see from the outer appearance. We're not supposed to see from the outer cup. We're supposed to see with the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God, if you hearken unto Him, He will lead you to all truths. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free from their bondage that they try to keep you entrapped in. They try to keep you entrapped in bondage under man's rule. And if we are seated in heavenly places, we are no longer under man's rule. We are no longer under their their ways. We are seated in heavenly places free from man's law, free from man's rules, free because Jesus wore the thorns for us, free from these people. And they have tricked the church of God into um, believing lies under a strong delusion a very strong delusion so they can divide they want to divide see to them this is the church and this is jerusalem they want to divide the church and jerusalem but you're jew inwardly the church is one body in christ one spirit christ one house one family seated in heavenly places these people are in for a fiery furnace we've been under a fiery affliction from these people they have been afflicting us on every side but little did they know, little did they know that their affliction of us, their keeping us under bondage, was just refining us. 
just preparing us for the glory that God has prepared us for. He has things for us that we cannot even imagine. All glory to Jesus, the work of God in him. Praise you, Father, Abba, Father, for you are good. Shame on these people. It says in the word of God, it says in the word of God that God, God himself will bring a fire to these people. A fire because they are making you believe a lie they are putting you under the curse but they don't themselves keep the law while they are putting you under the law making you feel guilty that's what they do they like to make you feel guilty for not keeping the law and they are all in a brotherhood of demons of Satanists they're all in Satan. They're all possessed by demons. They're all following Satan, Lucifer, the devil. They're all sending out um, lies and deceit, putting people under a trance in order to make merchandise out of people. They are shipwrecked, completely shipwrecked, these people, these false prophets. Making people believe that God would harm anybody that God would bring harm about anybody when these are the people bringing the harm to people. These are the people who are bringing destruction to the earth. And God says, whoever brings destruction to his earth, he is going to destroy them. These are the people bringing destruction to the earth of the earth. And these are the people who God will destroy for their destruction. And if they touched his bride, they will be in big trouble. But they will, it says in the word of God, that they will try. They will try. Don't believe whenever you think someone is dead or someone has um, been arrested. They are all liars and deceivers. They use their light machine. What was it? So many rays of light. They're using you. People I thought were good are really 